It seems a certain amount of you guys on Reddit and other forums have noticed the small text, Consumer Laser Product. It is a warning on the newest Exos recertified line by Seagate that we offer on our site, Server Part Deals. Now, it's not normally there for any of the drives we've received before, and we have gotten literally hundreds of thousands of hard drives in our tenor. And that's the thing, we noticed this too. And we looked through the data sheets, and we have done our own research and testing in-house as always, and we even reached out to Seagate ourselves without a response. So, while there is no official response or documentation of this, it seems like these drives might be the new hammer technology. Whoa, crazy, right? But it's just a conspiracy theory for now, as it's not really confirmed by the manufacturer officially, but we can infer with the information that Seagate has released pertaining to the new hammer technology and how it incorporates a new actuator laser revolutionizing the hard drive world and technology. Now typically, these hammer drives have been announced and technically have been available for a few years now, but only available officially to data centers or certified hyperscalers, and slowly, recently now, have been available to consumers as externals. Even we here at Server Part Deals have not gotten access to these when they were announced years prior. Until now? So most recently, we were able to get our hands on some factory recertified drives by Seagate with capacities ranging from 20 terabytes to 28 terabytes. And whenever the shipment came in, they included this neat little subtitle or caption, or maybe even a feature, on the bottom left of the drive stating, Class 1 Consumer Laser Product EN50689 2021. It says 2021, but the date of manufacture for this drive particularly in my hand, which is a ST2200NM000C, is manufactured in November of 2024. So, I don't know, the mystery continues. <laughs> it gets deeper. And after doing some more research, I came across this post from Reddit user Chirpai from r slash data hoarder. And they had gotten one of these Seagate external drives from Best Buy, and they had shucked it meaning that they took out the drive from the external enclosure so they could repurpose it and possibly use it in their internal desktop or in their server or NAS. But whenever they opened it up and it has this same exact subtitle, which is kind of curious, right? Whenever they found the same subtitle in that shucked external, that just leads to a lot more different questions and a lot of inferences that can be made based on that information, based on other information shown on the drive, such as the firmware. And that firmware shown on that shucked drive was that same firmware of Iron Wolf drives, but that drive was a Barracuda. Hmm. But the leading theory and the one that I personally myself believe is that these were possibly binned hammer drives. So they were originally intended to be 30 plus terabytes in capacity, then either a platter or a head failed or an actuator, or it just didn't reach the speed specification benchmark for a brand new 32 terabyte Exos drive. And then they were downgraded and recertified into a Barracuda or an Iron Wolf. We know that hammer uses that laser technology. So we can only guess at this point. So it is confirmed that Seagate can do this in terms of their recertification process, as it is their practice to repair drives by disabling platters and recertifying them to pass the same tests as brand new, and then placing a recertification badge on them and repurposing them as lower capacities. But it is just quite interesting to see and speculate as to what this may be, as for example, that shuck drive supposedly hammer from Seagate or Best Buy was a Barracuda, which is curious and kind of makes like the least sense to me because Barracudas are usually the consumer tier of hard drives. It's like of all the different lines of like Exos, Iron Wolf, Barracuda is the least complicated. It's the entry level you would get for your typical gaming PC or something. Exos drives are enterprise grade. They're made for servers and stuff. So it's just curious to see how a hammer drive, which is supposedly Seagate's newest and best technology, not best, I guess, but newest technology that they're trying to trailblaze, they made it into a Barracuda drive, which are typically slower than the Exos or the Iron Wolf drives. So that's what is a little bit curious. So others are speculating online that it could just be maybe a Seagate manufacturing mix-up, but at this point, who knows? Unless... So where does that leave us? Whether this conspiracy holds water or not, one thing's clear. Seagate's recertified Exos lineup just got a whole lot more intriguing. The consumer laser product label 
the firmware quirks, that eerie overlap with a shucked hammer external, it all points to something leaking beneath the surface of these drives. Are we looking at Hammer's quiet debut on the refurbished market? A clever workaround to salvage next generation hardware? Or just a red herring in Seagate's label labyrinth? Until the company breaks its silence, we're left connecting the dots in the dark. But hey, that's, <laughs> that's half the fun, right? If you got conspiracy theories, war stories with these drives, or some insider intel, or some new tea that we don't know about, go ahead, drop them below in the comments. I'd love to read them. Smash that like button if you're as hyped as we are about the possibility of Hammer trickling into the wild. And don't forget to consider subscribing. Because whether this is Seagate's open secret or a glorified tech myth, you'll want to be here when the truth finally platters out. <laughs> Stay curious, folks. We'll keep digging. And who knows? Maybe one of these days we'll crack this drive wide open. Literally. I actually really want to open one of these and just so we could figure it out ourselves, but I can't because I don't have the budget for that right now um, or at the moment, so maybe subscribe so we can do that in the future. <laughs> this has been Gabe with SPD and I'll catch you on the next one.